Hi, welcome to Mom's Trash Can. Let's see what's in the can today. So today we are accepting the challenge, or challenger I should say, from the latest release from Auto World. So we've got the 1970 RT in white, and if you are a Mopar movie fan, you may recognize where this particular car has come from, especially when you see the Colorado license plate here on the back. That's right, this is the Vanishing Point Challenger. So Auto World has done the 70 Challenger in previous releases, but this is the first time they've done a homage to a movie car that I'm aware of. Uh, you can see it's on this new um, magazine type card back from Hemmings Muscle Machines. Uh, they've upped production a little bit, 10,120. Now we take a look at the back of the card, we can see all the releasings from um, release four. And you see that it's got a new casting variation there beside the 70 RT. All right, so let's take a look at this thing, huh? So here we have the, what's the 70 uh, Challenger RT. So we got the hood, it raises. You can see the detailed engine department. And it's a little sideways there. Uh, you can see the, all the other details, white letter. Yeah, kind of missing the white letter there on the one tire. Oh, it actually got put on backwards. Look at that. You can see it on the inside. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. And then there is the Colorado license plate it's got vp that's not vice president it's a vanishing point all right so let's see what what else is in the can so here we have a green light 70 uh, ta that we can compare to the um auto world casting so, right off the gate, you can kind of see the Auto World is um, a lot less clunky on the front end there. Um, engine compartment, also not as um, cluttered, I guess. Or, the, um, you can tell a real uh, big difference in the tire size there. Auto World really strives to make sure everything is exactly 164. And uh, you can see the, the difference there uh, in the tires. Uh, overall, the length is about the same. I think the green light's a little bit longer. And here in the back, pretty similar. So then, if we compare these two to the old Johnny Lightning casting from years ago, uh, you can see that the um, Auto World and the Green Light are both 
big improvements from the Johnny Lightning casting. Uh, if you look at the just the size, you can see that Johnny Lightning wasn't that far off, but it was still a good bit shorter. And then we look at the front. Uh, you tell the auto world is really a lot, a lot detailed, a lot wider than the Johnny Lightning casting, both it and the green light. And of course, Johnny Lightning's got the, the big wheel, big tires on it. All right. Also in this release from Auto World is the 2019 Hellcat Red Eye. And this is, uh, I believe, the first 164th die cast of this particular car. Uh, in fact, there are very few uh, Hellcat castings prior to this one, be they the regular Hellcat, the Demon, or now the Red Eye. So again, you can see the cover. It's the same cover, uh, the magazine. Uh, 10,816 of these, a little more than the 70. Um, this is the one in silver. There's also one like a, a magazine cover that's purple with the black stripes. And the back of the car, you can see the same. And it has the new casting for the Hellcat Red Eye. All right, so let's get into this one. weight difference in this one from the, uh, the 70. Um, so we've got, let's see, the open hood. Okay, so I had to get my hood opening tool to uh, be able to open the hood on this uh, Hellcat. But yes, you can see the Hellcat motor uh, there in the engine compartment, highly detailed. Um, it's really nice there. Let's see the front. With the different uh, Hellcat fascia and the wheels. There's the Hellcat Demon badging, fender flares, and uh, tags, a Hemmings muscle machine tag in the back. That's a really nice uh, casting. All right. Well, as I mentioned, there's not a lot of these uh, these Hellcat uh, Challengers that have been cast and die cast. But just looking at a couple of them. Uh, probably, let's see the one you may be most familiar with is the Hot Wheels Demon from a couple years ago. And just being a Hot Wheels main line, you can see not not a ton of detail, and it does have the uh, the demon badge there. Uh, it's got the back tampos. And what's interesting is, um, you know, the demon it was available with um, ultralight drag wheels on the front, and uh, they used Hot Wheels used the skinny tires here on the front and of course the drag slicks on the back. So comparing it to the uh, Auto World, you can immediately see 
It's a good bit shorter than the Auto World one. And of course the detail, a lot different. This is a toy. This is basically a, di a miniature model. So the other um, Hellcat Challenger casting was from Majorette. Uh, back before they um, ceased distribution in the U.S., you get these at Toys R Us uh, back when it was still around in the U.S. too. Um, so this is actually a really nice casting and probably was the gold standard before Auto World. Uh, you can see the front there, so if we compare it to the Auto World. Uh, it's about the same width. It's good detail. And the side, you know, it's got the uh, Hellcat badging. One thing I didn't like about it was the, the, the tire choice, the, the wheel and tire choice. Um, but aside from that, it's a really nice casting. It's got the tempo on the back. And the one thing I really like about the major, well, two things, um, it's opening doors. And also something you very rarely, if ever see on a 164, side mirrors. You can see neither the Auto World and definitely not the Hot Wheels have those cast. Um, that's just the detail that most of the uh, 164th manufacturers uh, don't worry about including, but uh, the major ad has them. So, uh, there we have it. The challengers have been accepted. And uh, hey, tell us um, what you think of them. Do you like the new ones from Auto World? Do you prefer the old? Uh, Johnny Lightning, or maybe you're a, a green light fan primarily. And uh, hey, I know you hate this video. I mean, I made it and I hate it. So make sure you give me a thumbs down, but uh, keep subscribing so you can hate some more. All right, till next time, later.